the Twist of Vader reviews. Today we have Warbitron Airburst WB01-A, not blast off. So let's take a look at the accessories here. It comes with a nice little collector's card. It's pretty thick. It's not bad. And his instruction booklet is kind of like a comic book. Which, if you've seen the reviews, it's definitely comical how they wrote this. Translation's pretty funny, but I'm not going to do the spoiler. Go ahead and get it. You'll have a little giggle when you read through it. And, of course, there's the instructions. Which, they're not too bad. As you see the highlighted area. Not bad. And here's the insert it was in on the inside. Which was also in this guy, which is the actual box part. Just a side. And then the outside slip. That was over top of that. it's a scene maybe when you get all of them and line them up together it's going to show one big long scene would be my guess which would be also cool and if you may see from my previous video my first one was a manufacturer's defect and I'd like to say thank you to Big Bad Toy Store they uh, turned it around real fast I had no issues getting a replacement my replacement has no problems so I just want to say thanks to them guys for not giving me a hard time and making it easy to get my new one. And here he is, and he has no issues, and he's really cool. I um, should probably notice that symbol. He doesn't come with that. I had white stickers, and I thought it looked good since he had a purple background. Which is pretty neat. And I have to say, he's a really cool guy. He has a lot of articulation. And I like him a lot so far. Um, no issues like the other one. It was the arm that was goofy. This one's perfect. Everything lines up perfect. Um, the only weird thing in Robo Mode, he does have a slight little kibble here. They could have maybe made this nose split flat or something or lock in because it kind of just sits there. But it's not bad. You know. And in Robo Mode, he looks really cool. Got these big rocket boosters on the side. You can clip them there. You can clip them down here if you want. I like him there. He does have some light piping in the eyes. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. So we'll show articulation. You see his foot here. It does swivel back and forth, up and down. Lots of movement there. Um, the exhaust for the space shuttle is actually his heel, which you can adjust a little bit up and down. He does have a knee. Oop, drop that off. Um, he swivels right here at the thigh and at the hip goes up and down and in and out. Um, he has waist movement back and forth. His hands, his fingers are all one, but they do move in and out. His gun just clips in kind of like most a little tab in there. Uh, he does have a double jointed elbow here, so if you move it up I notice if you move it up with just that joint, it kind of gives them a gap here. So if you're posing them, you can adjust it like that. It kind of fills it in better. Uh, he'll twist here at the bicep. And at the shoulder, it goes up and down. And of course, it spins all around. So you see lots of movement, lots of articulation. Those shoulders kind of get in the way when you're doing big movements, but they do move. His head does go up and down slightly. It will spin all the way around. Even for transformation, that's how you put them away. I think that's it. Um, it's nice plastic. It's not cheap plastic. It doesn't feel like it's going to crumble apart after messing with it a few times. Uh, the paint amps are pretty boring. Just some purple paint here on the wings and stuff like that there's not really too much a little bit of gray here which is kind of cool I mean silver and you see under here the other reason why I put that sticker there is when you put him in combiner mode that folds up like that to hide his head and 
and that's where he actually connects in combiner mode. So I thought that would be nice, he'd still be able to see that like that. I haven't looked to see if Repo Labels made a kit, but I'm sure they will, and I'm sure I'll get it for all of them. And I don't know what else there is to say about him. He looks really cool um, height-wise. Let's see. It's pretty much Masterpiece level. And as far as articulation, Masterpiece quality, I'm definitely considering him the first Masterpiece combiner. Now, granted, the shuttle's a little bit you know it doesn't scale right and as you've seen from the picture I had of course it's not gonna scale right but keep in mind it's it's doesn't have to be the same size as a regular shuttle if you put spike next to it he could still fit inside there so as far as I'm concerned even in vehicle mode it scales pretty decent and you see him next to uh, generations deluxe just to get an idea of the size So I think he's definitely a cool little man. So let's go ahead and transform him into space shuttle mode.
have him in space shuttle mode. <clears throat> Not bad. He does have this front landing gear that comes down. Uh, the actual wheels will spin. The rear landing gear is kind of just this molded thing that's on his foot. But it doesn't even really touch when you have the missiles under here anyways. Kind of missiles act as landing gear, but whatever. And you see the whole setup. They have a thing where this will actually be set up here. So as far as landing gear goes, who cares? But if you like that, at least you have it. As you see, it's really nice. Definitely cool. The one complaint I've been hearing from people is that it only has two rockets or whatever instead of the three. But like I said earlier, this is not the space shuttle. It is a space shuttle-like object, which is probably half the size of an actual space shuttle, if not even less. That's the logic you can use to make this fit in your masterpiece collection. Yes, I'm goofy. Anyway, he's really cool looking. I like how the guns go there. Um, quality issues, I don't really have any. Like I said, that first one, um, the only thing I do notice is these outside wings are a little bit loose. As you see, they tend to want to droop. But, you know, when you set them there, he seems fine. He's not see not drop and it's just when you touch it, it it moves really nice cool guy I can't wait to get the rest of them I think the next one that coming I'm not sure what's the next one might be bra I think bra is the next one I don't know what they're gonna name it they haven't showed me the names yet or at least I don't know the names yet but anyway I think he's the tank that's coming next and that's the leg this is the right arm now as far as uh, an arm mode, it's relatively basic. As you see, there's a little hole right here. I'm sure the fist, because it pops apart, will go right there and clip in. And there's where your hand's gonna be. Of course, you want this up like that. You basically flip the arms out. I'm not gonna do it until we get it. I'll show the full actual one when we change them. But these legs will pop out straight. You flip this up and in. Pull that out. These are all fold back, and you get the idea. So this will plug into his arm right here. This folds out like this, so you can have the elbow and the handle stick out right there. So as you see the size, it's going to be big, really big. Literally the biggest combiner ever created to date. Um, as far as uh, my suggestion, I was just a little irritated on the first one because I got the defect, but I'm, I'm saying get them, guys. And you find them, get them. I think the only place you can get them right now is Big Bad Toy Store. Other stores have them, but they're not in stock yet. I don't know. There's a whole underlying contract monopoly craziness behind all that that I'm not even going to get into. You can find out yourself, but... I'd like to see them all. I don't want this company, it seemed it's brand new to go under already. I don't see any issues. I think the design's pretty damn good. I'm gonna say definitely buy it. Definitely get them. I mean, especially when you compare this like to the fan toys project they just came out. They're 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 not even masterpiece size, the cars are smaller, everything's smaller, everything's smaller. You know, this is what I want third party companies to wake up and realize. We want everything to scale masterpiece size. That's it. We don't want the little ones. We don't want to scale with the old G1 anymore. That's over. Everybody got their old G1 collections that they want, the commemorative, whatever, and then that's it. From now on, the stuff has to match like this, or even not a little bit bigger than this to truly be to scale, but like I said. Anyway, let's go ahead and go back into robot mode real quick.
series back in Robot. So as I said, very nice character. Um, definitely, I'm giving it thumbs up. Go ahead. Not having quality issues. I'm mean, as you've seen from the transformation and whatnot. These tabs I have popped out. That's just because of the way I'm gripping it, trying to show everything on camera. They don't normally pop out like that when you're just transforming them. Just to let you know. Everything seems to be really tight. No real stress marks yet. I did have a hard time getting the landing gear out. I have to use tweezers to get in there and pull it really tight. But other than that, nothing really. And that's him. So, Warbitron Airburst. The right arm of Not Bruticus. I hope you enjoyed it. That's it for today's review from Twisted Vader. Uh, stay tuned. I'll put the close-ups at the end. And that's it. Have a great day.